OMG BG! What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Beyblade Geeks video. We're gonna do an unboxing on the brand new Lucifer The End. The next evolution of our Lucifer base. So look at that. Uh, Ren is super mad. He is all hyped up. And we got some brand new gimmicks, new features with this Lucifer. It's crazy, the name is The End. Literally like, is it the end of Beyblade? Just kidding guys, hopefully there's a new series, hopefully there's another series happening, uh, who knows. But yeah, let's take a look at the back of the box to check out the gimmicks and the advertisements. So, this is Lucifer, we have The End, Coal, and Drift. So, there's a bunch of gimmicks happening in this bay actually. So, we got like the bay's uh, layer being able to absorb damage. Yeah, it's like a bumper style effect. It's so crazy, man. Yeah, not only that, it is a total defense bay as is as advertised here. We also have another gimmick, pretty exciting. This one basically is the limit break gimmick where you can activate the layer and make that expand. So it will actually like move down. Pretty crazy stuff. So gone is the Lucifer tongues. So no more of those uh, tongues for the barrier. This bay is completely uh, different now. Goodbye. Goodbye no more tons. rubber blades. <laughs> but yeah. it has all this free spinning stuff too, man. This yeah. bay is just packed with a bunch of features. Bunch of features, a bunch of cool parts. The drift driver also is, looks super cool. Very bulky, very thick. So yeah, that's uh, Lucifer at the end. We have some huge defense power if you look at the graph. Uh, this is just like all out defense bay right here, okay? So before we get started with unboxing Lucifer The End, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click that bell notification icon so you guys don't miss the next video. Also check us out and follow us on Instagram. Thanks for your support. Lucifer The End. All right. Special one? Are we gonna get the special one? Nope, no special one. No. <laughs> this is definitely like the antagonist of the series though for Baby Liquor Sparking. Uh, we're getting to that peak, you know, peak climax of the season. It didn't take long for uh, Ren and Lucifer to get that upgrade. It followed our main characters, Hikaru and Hyuga, so quickly. Yeah, for real. Wow, this is Dude. so thick. Damn. <laughs> so lost the barrier, but still got that, you know, crazy thickness happening here. <gasps> All right, let's uh, take out the rest of the parts. Okay, we got that, you know, extra tall disc. Um, only works with other limit break bays in the sparking system. And then we have the drift driver. This thing is huge. Man, this guy is just super bulky. Really reminds me of like Diablo Nemesis, you know, back in the Metal yeah, Sega. Yeah, legit. Like the purple, you know, Evo colors, and then the thick bottom, crazy uh, gimmicks. The layer and the colors of Lucifer the End reminds me of Gravity Perseus. True that, the, especially this top yeah. portion. And the, the shape, yeah, triangle, right? exactly. And then also we got some hidden features, so we'll dig in. All right, let's put the stickers on first. We'll uh, talk about all the gimmicks and all the parts. Alrighty, we have all the parts of Lucifer the end laid out. So first of all, let's take a look at the sparking chip. So right off the bat, it is very, very heavy in the hands. The purple parts right there, you can see is pure metal. So very nice to see a heavy sparking chip, uh, especially on these new releases. Um, other than the metal actually, if you flip it upside down, you also see this extra rubber piece that's pink in color. And you might be wondering what this is all about. So it's supposed to help with your burst resistance because that rubber part actually will touch where the driver's like basically the top portion where the sticker is. So it's meant to kind of grip onto that part to give you more resistance and make it less likely to burst. I'm wondering if it's gonna help that much. You know, with all these new sparking bays, uh, they don't really burst too much anyways. So who knows, you know, it's it's nice that uh, we got another extra gimmick though. So we'll have to kind of test it out to know if it really does make a difference, depending on the combo, of course. So that's the Lucifer chip. Next up, we have the end as the ring. And this thing is like so many 
layer on top of each other. There is basically like three parts built in, so you can't actually take it apart and separate them. But um, if you like lift it up and twist it around, you can uh, see it's really bulky. So we have the bottom part where basically the barrier is. So we used to get the tongues. Now we just get this huge black barrier. It's kind of like a huge shield on the uh, ring itself. Yeah, and it free spins once it activates. So super crazy. Yeah, that's right. So the shield is uh, free spinning. If you twist it around, you can see that the top part with the purple and the black, those are both free spinning parts. So like, wow, a lot of work have gone into designing this bay. I can, I'm sure of that. After the activation, it becomes super thick, super tall. And then you also have this huge gap. Um, then the, the pink part is now exposed. I like that they kept the pink color in there. Just kind of to represent where the chassis used to be. Yeah, again, guys, this is a brand new system. So this ring is not going to work with any of your old discs. This will only work with currently three available discs, which is the ones that came with the previous Hyperion and Helios set. So that brings us over to the brand new cold disc. Just to give you guys a recap, with the limit break system, these discs control when the activation will happen. So with these new discs, the arrow right on top and bottom of the disc determines when the bay is gonna activate the gimmick. So these are the current three discs that we have for the Limit Break system, previously from Helios and our new Hyperion. We have the Cho disc, which activates on the first click. We have the O disc, which activates on the second click. And then now with the new Lucifer, we have the Coal disc that activates on the third position. So one, two, three, hey? Yeah, pretty Dude, cool. Is that hinting that these are the only discs that we're gonna get? No more Limit Break bays? That's it? But yeah, who knows? Rumor has it there might be a new Beyblade season coming up, so there's lots of opportunity for them to make more designs uh, of different gimmicks, you know, different shapes and stuff like that. And then lastly we have here is the driver. This is the Drift Driver. It's a brand new driver, super bulky. And uh, the interesting part is it basically um, it, the design of the bottom part, the plate, is exactly the same as the Mobius driver we got from the previous Lucifer. Now with just some uh, added uh, bonus on top with some extra weight and a wider surface area. Yeah, this driver is way bulkier than before. So even if you tip this bay over, you're still going to be like riding on that massive black piece there. So it doesn't really tip at all. It's kind of like a hypersphere bay, hey? Takara told me, taking hints from hypersphere. With Lucifer at the end to put the bay together, we have to make sure we reset the activation, push it back down into the grooves. Now we can put our chip in, push that in, put our disc in for coal, and then the drift driver. So bulky. All right, like that. And I actually just accidentally activated my trap card. Now the uh, bumper came back down. So let's see here. Just push it back in, twist a bit, and now it is uh, reset. So bulky. And look at that. Wow, so round at the bottom. Even though this is such a big bay, I feel like it's actually, it looks really short just because of how bulky the middle portion is. Yeah, it's a stubby bay. <laughs> yeah. So before the activation, this is gonna be a very solid bay. We even have those bumpers that can absorb damage. So you can actually push them in. I'm gonna show you a demo. They actually are softer plastic designed for it to take more hits. And then as your bay unlocks, three clicks and your bumper drops down. And now you have the free spinning gimmick. Yo, that's so sick. Look at all those pieces moving. Yeah, man. Um, I think if your bay gets trapped into this gap, it's gonna do some pretty massive recoil. But it is a defense type after all, so we will have to kind of test it out to see how the performance is. So here's a quick look at the teeth of Lucifer at the end. Compared to the other sparking bays, it's actually a bit looser than the other ones. Uh, when we click the bay together, it's actually a bit looser than the other sparking bays. So yeah, just as reference, that's the kind of 
click that we're getting. So here's a look at the evolution of Lucifer. We have variant Lucifer right on this side. And you know, it's still very thick bay, but when you compare it with our Lucifer at the end, this guy's way thicker. Uh, and we lost the tongues, but we now gained a huge bumper. Okay, looking at the bottom area. Oh yeah, huge difference here. Yeah, but the only thing that I can see a resemblance of is the Mobius driver, like the bottom plate area. Uh, but now instead of the skinny driver, we have this huge bulk of plastic around that plate. So Lucifer at the end weighs... 69.24 dude almost 70 pretty heavy compared to our other limit break system Ooh. base so we have Hyperion. Hyperion. let's see oh 72 okay. so yeah that was over 70 i remember helios was lightweight 65.81 yeah so i guess now that we can customize within the three bays more possibilities three two one go <laughs> Okay, so with the bumper dropping down, this bay just becomes so much lower. Like it's so easy to scrape now. So I wonder how that's gonna do against other people. Yeah, but that drift driver is supposed to counter that, right? Keep you upright? I guess so, it uh, super makes me flat. Okay, let's do some test battles. Three, Three two, two, one. one. All right, Lucifer against Lucifer. And you already know that the old one's gonna lose because it loses against every single right spin. Okay, so that was a very boring test battle. <laughs> Next! Alright, so no activation happening because I didn't even get one uh, click in. Three, Three two, one! one. Yeah, so Mobius uh, driver previously was actually a pretty good driver. Yo, it moves so much. It's like pretty aggressive for a defense type of day. Good life after death. Yo, glide oh, the stamina glide type. Take one. it down. Sick. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. <laughs> wow, okay, nice redirect. I don't think anyone has activated my trap card yet. Yo, but I feel like your stamina goes down oh, so quickly. You're right, you're right. All right, no clicks. Three, two, one. Let's see. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I feel like stamina is definitely not its strong suit. Three, two, one. Let's see. Ouch. Super Hyperion still a boss. Activated, but um, didn't do much. Three, Three two, two, one. Let's see. Big hits. No. Oh, nice. So that's the benefit of having a driver that has a bit of mobility. Yeah, okay, no activations again. Three, two, one. Oh. So, yeah, it seems like the defense is not quite there yet. The bumper is getting hit a lot, though. And the uh, new drift driver is pretty cool. All right guys, so that's basically it for the unboxing of Lucifer at the end. What did you guys think of this brand new sparking bay? It's actually pretty crazy how fast we're moving with like a new system already. And currently we just have three of these. So curious to like know, hopefully in the future we see more of these limit break uh, bays. So that way we can customize them more often, like more combinations to work with basically. Uh, so yeah, tell us in the comments below if you guys want another season of Beyblade with new gimmicks. Um, Takira Tomi is always surprising us with new features, so this could literally go on forever. Alright, so uh, thanks for watching guys. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and as always, Geeks, Geeks out!